I'm a little late for solving today's lead code problem, which is check if the string is panagram. But I believe this is an easy question, and most of the subscribers of Coding Decoded will be able to solve this by themselves. However, if you are new, then again I'm at your service. The question says, what do we need to do? We need to check if the string is panagram in nature or not. And how do we define a panagram string? A, a string is said to be a panagram if every English lowercase character appears in that string at least once. So it, I have ho also heard about this word for the first time I was aware of anagram, but panagram is something new and unusual <laughs> added to my vocab. Uh, the question is not really difficult, uh, but for beginners, let me just explain that. Uh, what we are going to do, we will store the frequency of each character that appears in our input string. For example, here we have the string 10 slash lead code. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to iterate over this string and I'll extract what all characters are present in the string. For example, L is present. So let's update the frequency of L as one. Moving ahead, we have E. Let's update the frequency as one. Again, we see an E and let's update the frequency to two. Then we have T. Let's update the frequency to uh, one again. Next we have C. Let's update the frequency to one. Next we have O. Let's update the frequency of O to one. Next we have D. Let's update the frequency of D to one. Next we have E. Let's update the frequency of E again to three. And once we have iterated over this entire string, now we know what all elements are present in this map and how many elements are present in total. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six. In total, we have six entries in our map. How many English characters are supported in English? 26 are supported. So there are a hell lot of elements that are missing since this ma number doesn't match with each other. What we are going to do will say false. It's not a panagram string. Had it been the case, the total number of entries present in our map would have been 26. Then in that case, we would have returned true. Another way to solve this question instead of using maps is to use arrays. And this is what I have done over here. You can choose either ways uh, as per your convenience. There is no harm or a better way out there. Both works perfectly fine. So I have created a frequency map and I have taken an array of integers at each index. I'll be storing the frequency of each character starting from A to Z. Once I have done that, I check if I see any element whose frequency happens to be equal to zero, then I say return false. The string is not a panagram string. So let's try and sum it this up. Okay think there is some error in the comment section and let's update that. This is right. Accepted. Solved the day 18th as well. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed this video. Also, in case if you have any doubt understanding this problem up, or if you want to ask anything from me in general, this is a good job opportunities, placement, internships, please feel free to drop a message in the Telegram group of Coding Decoded. I'll be more than happy to assist you there. We have a community of more than 1500 developers working at all top notches. Each and every person in this group is very cordial, very helpful. And if you need referrals from anyone in the group, people are more than happy to help. With this, let's wrap up today's session. Have a good night and I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question. But till then, take care. Goodbye.